So this is a PRS SE, the 30th anniversary model with maple neck. Uh, the Synergy SYN1 um, with a Friedman DS module in it. I've got the blue channel set to be a little bit crunchy, then back down the volume to get a little cleaner. And then I've got the, uh, the red channel set with a higher gain. So this is with the, uh, the volume back down, uh, the bridge pickup. Got it so it has a little bit of real fuzz on the top of it. This is the neck pickup. <laughs> Gotta remember to use the bar. I've got a nut that's sticking right now. So kind of whacking the tuning. reverb I'm putting through the H9 here and uh, just add some ambience behind it. Kind of the standard back in black, you know. Sort of you know, repeating reverb thing, but works. <clears throat> so on the floor I'm going to be pushing it with, uh, right now the first thing is a Barber LTD. Uh, older pedal that I've really liked for years and I have it set for this particular thing. Adding a little bit of boost. This is a, a Keeley Fat Mod. Have a different sort of boost. I like the Keeley because it has a fuzziness to it, but it's not too different. This is the LTD again. It's kind of restrained to us, the mids. And for giggles, I put in a Friedman uh, BE overdrive here. So this is on the. So I've got it set to very low gain, but here's with the, the overdrive. Again. I tend to believe the Friedman, you know, the, the overdrive, the BE overdrive, actually likes a little cleaner amp. Uh, this is maybe a bit too much for it, but eh, I was just playing around with it today. So this is the second channel. This is the red channel. <laughs> Volume on 10 on the guitar.
I find the blue channel, I like it better overall because it's more of the David Gilmore-ish sort of crunch that you can boost into wonderful overdrive. The red channel, though, you just can't deny the fact that it just wants to be that fat. <laughs> At first, I didn't use the bright switches on the module. I just thought it was over the top. But when I played this with the band, I started to realize that without those bright switches in, you're kind of missing something, a sheen. And I've never used that sort of sound before, but when you listen to it, yeah, a lot of modern recordings have it. So I'm getting used to it. I'm beginning to like it. It's, it's definitely something I haven't up to this point really liked. Use a fat guitar like this, though, and you get some real singing sounds. So and then when you push that channel a little bit more, and again I like the LTD because it just offers a little bit of a nice mid presence. <laughs> So it kind of rises above its own mark. That's on the neck pickup. So this entire video, I just ran it through my little tiny Mackie monitors, which are up on my uh, my computer setup, because I just wanted this to be heard. This is pretty much a recording setup for me most of the time, although I've been using it live to kind of achieve these sounds. I am running this through a torpedo cab. I find that the speaker DI in the back of the module is actually not as bad as I thought it was initially. I thought at first, oh, this sounds wanky. You get it out with the band and suddenly it was like punchier than what I was using. So I actually matched the torpedo cab to sound like it. So I'm using the Big Baby Neo cabinet, which has a, uh, a Celestine cream back in it. And that gives me pretty much very similar to what's coming out of the DI. And I'm finding, once again, whoever engineered this unit actually did a good job. The DI works really well. <laughs> Like anything, it takes a while to get used to, but really great stuff. And I am using the SAG control. I've heard other people pan it. Yes, it does take something off the top end, but I think it's intentional. Um, I've ran it both with the SAG control completely off, and I'm using it at about 9 o'clock, so the light barely blinks. In this setting, it barely blinks unless I'm pushing the channel, but... I'm finding it adds a nice something, and I guess that's why I like it. It's like, okay, it's nondescript, it adds a certain uh, amplifier feel, it's kind of an interesting effect. So anyway, just wanted to show what I've been doing with it. Um, there's a lot of videos out there of a lot of people running it. This is, you know, one of those things where over time all the experts get online and they put their, their videos out there, which is great. Uh, this is me in my, my room, my recording room, just playing with toys. and thought this would be an interesting video to post since there's just not much on these units really out there that isn't a quote-unquote expert. So, uh, enjoy!